This last year has been a year of many curves in the road. We have swerved and detoured. We've learned new skills. We've dropped some others. We've learned new ways to do old things. It's been a lot of change. We've been talking about some of those changes these last couple of weeks as we've been bringing you up to speed on what's been happening within the church. And we've had to make a lot of decisions and we've struggled to adapt to a lot of the things that are happening. Well, Sue and I have been struggling these past few months with some decisions as well. And I wanted to let you know that tomorrow I will be sending a letter to Bishop Palmer with um, my intent to retire effective July 1. That has not been an easy decision to come by. This is not how I ever imagined ending my years in ministry. But COVID has changed a lot of things. And we've had to look at the reality of what's happening in the world around us. What I can say and what I know near and dear to my heart is these past seven years with the Purple Door Church have been a real blessing to Sue and I. And while this decision has not been an easy one, and I still struggle from time to time, well, all the time with it, I know in my heart that it's the best one. I know that it's the best one for Sue and I and for this church. I've been saying to you for years now that I would be with you through the, this denominational turmoil and I would walk with the church to get to that point. And that's where some of my, my guilt comes from. That should have been happening right now. January of 21 is when the new denominational process was going to be ready to go into place. And with COVID, it got disrupted. The general session that was supposed to meet last year didn't happen. It's supposed to meet this September, but right now trying to get visas for people from all around the world is not going to be ready by then. And so we're looking at most likely 2023 or after before the denominational process is to the point of making it happen. As I stated a couple of weeks ago, I, I strongly feel that by the fourth quarter of 2021, the Purple Door Church is going to see a resurgence like it's not seen in a long time. I think when we come out of this COVID state, people are going to want to be back together. They're going to want to see the closeness of what it means to be a church again, to be active in a community again, to be with people again. And you need a pastor that can be with you through that time. This is not the time to be changing a pastor with new things happening and starting up in this next year with denominational stuff and a couple of years down the road. You need a pastor that's going to be able to walk with you through that in each and every way. And so this is the right time. And my role in these next six months will be to lead the forming of the foundations that are going to help move this church forward for a new pastor and our continuing staff to be able to make a difference in this community for Jesus Christ. We will be focusing on rebuilding our discipleship, our learning from our children to our, to our youth, to our adults, both in-house and and what we do online, even more than what we're doing now, more than just Zoom conferences, and, and we've been trying to do everything we can, but we're going to be continuing to seek new and better ways that we can be bringing and teaching what Jesus Christ is all about. We're going to be focusing even stronger on community ministries. We've been known in this community as the Purple Door Church, and, and our our community meal, our free store, just two examples of what we're doing. But there are so many more that we need to be opening ourselves up to. There are so many needs in this community right now. And so that's going to be one of our emphasis. And the, and the third emphasis is that we're going to be looking at improving our online presence. Our online presence is here to stay. We're going to try to be doing in-house worship as much as possible, but the reality is we are going to be an online presence forever. 
And so we need to do everything we can to improve and polish and be able to present more and more what we're doing. I've already been in conversation with the district superintendent. Within the next couple of weeks, he will be doing most likely a Zoom conference with our leadership team to start the process of finding out the gifts and needs for the next pastor of the Purple Door Church. And I would suspect that within the next month or so, um, that the bishop and cabinet will be coming up with some possibilities and names. We want them to be able to, to appoint the right pastor for the right time for this church. And so I call upon you now to be in prayer for this church and its future, for its mission to reach this community to make disciples for Jesus Christ so we can truly transform the world. Pray for the church. Pray for the bishop and cabinet as they discern who would be the right person to come into this place this summer. To pray for the church staff as we work in transition and then on to a new pastor and to be able to pray for that new pastor. We don't know who that is. You need to be praying every day for the next pastor to come into this church. That when they are asked by the bishop to come here, they will know that they've been prayed up and prayed for. And I'd also ask that you pray for the leadership team, pray for our staff, that in this transition, there's going to be a lot of stuff happening. And I'd also ask that you pray for Sue and I. It's tough to end 42 years of ministry. It's tough to walk away from what you spent your whole life in and seen so much blessing and so much good. It's something we've loved to do and we have been blessed beyond measure, not only by the Purple Door Church, but the churches and the people that we have served through this time. We've been blessed. And God is going to continue to hold this church in his hands and bless us always. Thank you. I want to leave you with a passage of scripture that I used a couple of weeks ago, number 6, verses 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And now go in peace. And as you go into 2021, may you step with confidence, reaching out and holding on to the hand of Jesus as he leads you and walks with you through all that you do. We put all of our trust in him. Go in peace. Amen.